Hello and welcome to day two of the Ecstatic Dance California bus tour. Yesterday we were in San Francisco for an incredible launch to this journey and today we're going to the capital of the state, Sacramento, California for Ecstatic Dance Sacramento this evening. I, um, I really want to let people know how um, moved we all are to be on this journey together because what we're really hoping to do is inspire, educate, and inform people about the power of dance. We are excited about bringing the dance magic and the deep container to all these different cities as we're traveling, but we're really wanting you to help us by sharing these videos out. Let's, let's, let's have more people see what's possible in this dance space. And one of the ways to do that is by sharing these videos we're creating along the way. So thank you for that in advance. A bus tour wouldn't be possible without a bus. And I, I just have to take a minute to thank the people at Green Tortoise Adventures. So you can see this is their custom coach. You've seen some shots of the inside from our webcast yesterday. This is my good friend and colleague, Hamid Martin. Hi, everyone. <laughs> And I'm just giving a shout out to Green Tortoise Adventures. Oh yes. Yeah, these buses are custom built on the inside so we can sleep at night while we're traveling and we can relax in comfort as we travel along the way. So I want to say thank you again to Lyle Kent and our driver, Andy, and our other assistant, magical uh, fairy helper, Amber, along the way. Thank you so much for making this possible. We could never handle the logistics of something like this without your years of experience. Um, while I have you here. Hi. I was thinking, since we're just standing right here and we can do more, is um, just maybe introduce yourself and say a little bit about why you're here and a little bit about our connection. And you got me on the spot here, bro. That's the best way to do it sometimes. <laughs> First thought, best thought. Why am I here? I love dance so much. It's, uh, it's changed my life. It's informed my life. It's helped me feel in touch with myself. It's helped me feel empowered to be myself. Um, I used to be an athlete and I really kind of identified with that and I, um, after so many injuries and um, hurling myself off of cliffs on my snowboard and uh, nearly barely walking away with my life, I, I was wondering what can I do in my body that's going to give me the space to express myself so passionately with my full un inhibited creativity and then I found dance and it just blew my world wide open and I don't know what I would have done without it. Yeah. Um, is there anything I want to say about tonight? What are we doing tonight? We're going to dance in the state capital mm. tonight, Sacramento. Yeah, I've never been to this dance. Um, I'm excited. I think it's kind of a smaller kind of dance it's scene. It's more intimate. It's not as big as San Francisco, a little more intimate. Yeah, so I'm excited just to, to roll up there with this group energy that we got going and I'm just I'm always excited to dance in new places I love it so here we come Sacramento here we come
Trustee Betty Tyler. I trust him, he trusts me. So now we're gonna put that trust to the test and we're gonna lean into each other. So I'm gonna give my weight like I'm leaning into a wall, right? And he's doing the same. Now I'm meeting him with the same amount of, of lean that he's given me. If I don't meet him with that much, it's gonna look a lot like this, right? Or, or if I give him my weight and he's not giving me the same amount back, it's gonna look like that, which does happen. That's where we are moving towards. But right now we wanna stick with some solidarity so we can feel the stability. Hello everyone, I am here with Raina Satori who taught our amazing contact improvisation class before the jam tonight. What's like the kernel to you of why contact improvisation is so important in the ecstatic dance world? Great question, thanks. <laughs> Uh, contact improv is, is an important element to ecstatic dance because it teaches people how to connect with each other in meaningful ways but in a non-verbal way. Um, it's really difficult to come into a new space and connect with people not using words because we're so used to that. So it's nice to have an opportunity to have a meaningful, deep, intimate connection um, that's playful and creative and actually helps you to get to know the person sometimes even better than you would be able to get to know them by just talking. Okay, my name is Mary Delphine. I'm 81 years old and I love to dance. I, I would totally recommend this type of dancing for anyone who wants to express themselves and just relax. That's the thing, it really relaxes you. So, like yeah. a meditative practice? Yes. Uh -huh. Like, would you compare it to yoga or Qigong? Uh, I would probably com uh, compare it to Qigong. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad Katie invited me. I was, when I walked in, I said, what is this? <laughs> All those people on the floor, you know, <laughs> is this hell or heaven? <laughs> <laughs> so what, what made you discover that it wasn't like something weird, hippie? Well, because I, I walked in and all of a sudden I got into the, the whatever, I just got into it. There was the music and everybody everybody expressing themselves and nobody looked at me weird, that I was an old lady dancing, you know, and just part of the group. Yeah. <laughs> and I just kind of felt accepted right away. Yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful, Grandma. <laughs> I'm happy you came. Uh, me too. Yeah, it's a really great experience, yeah. I'm 60 years old, which is shocking for me to hear. <laughs> but yeah, I do think that diversity in ecstatic dance is one of the important things, and the age diversity is one of the beautiful things. And not only the fact that there are teenagers and people in their 20s and people like me and older than me who come here, but also so often we dance together. Yeah. And so it is this beautiful meeting of generations and and part of the flow of ecstatic dance is that acceptance that we have. You come, you bring whatever you bring, and not only diversity of age and race, but also where you're at. This is a place, ecstatic dance is a place where you can really be yourself and really work on whatever you need to work on in a somatic way, you know, yes. allowing the body's wisdom yeah. to help heal you. I'm so happy to be joined today by Tassier, who just flew in to join the tour, and he's gonna be with us for the rest of the time, and he and I will be sharing this space of talking to dancers and kind of being hosts for you for the rest of this tour. Welcome. Thank you. And um, we'd love for you to introduce yourself and tell folks what dance has meant for you, what's your history here, perhaps, and any other questions we can think of in the moment. I'm Hannah Mae Reeve. Uh, I'm from Sacramento and uh, I 
I've been doing ecstatic dance for about a year and a half of that. I've done it in Olympia, Washington, Madison, Wisconsin, Burlington, Vermont, maybe about Chico, a oh my loved God. one, yeah. a few, a few in the area. But yeah, it, it's if you're traveling around, you can actually just search them, and they're in different cities, right. and it's growing, yeah. and it's really it's a good thing to see around the world, especially when you're looking for good <laughs> folks. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Indeed. So I'm. The white guy asking this question. I'm curious if Atasque, as a black man, is there anything you want to ask, or what would you like to bring forward since we're here on camera? Well, um, the subject of diversity, I think, is one that's important in the ecstatic dance community because there's obvious imbalances or differences with that. But I think that, from my experience as a person of color, I am starting to see more and more diversity mm -hmm. within the ecstatic mm -hmm. dance community yeah. when I yeah. go, and not just the ecstatic yeah. dance community, but in the festival scene. Yeah, true. We just got back from doing ecstatic dance and symbiosis, and mm -hmm. it was so diverse, nice. like more than oh. any other festival that I've been to, and it was yeah. refreshing, and everybody was there. So yeah. I think when we can see ourselves reflected in the community, we're more likely to come, and mm -hmm. it, 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 it requires outreach on all of our parts to to make the intention to diversify and invite people, yeah. help people feel welcome in a, in a container or an environment where we might not see people that look like that. So it's just about, I think, um, communicating, reaching out, like you were saying. If you can't pay, you can come help, you know, set up or clean up or whatever, and that makes the doors open for everybody who really wants to be there. So if you want to dance, mm -hmm. just show up. Yeah, people yeah, in the Exact Dance community please, will please. make a way for you to, <laughs> to come get your groove on like we all need to. <laughs> yes. Yes. Shy people like come in all different colors, so it's like I totally understand where it's like there's a lot of barriers even just with coming to Ecstatic Dance. Yes. So like just just to 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 be more comfortable in that is something that we're all striving for, for yes. sure. So true, always. Well put. Thank you so much. Thank you, both of you, for speaking openly and from your experience and your heart about this subject. It's one I'm really happy to start talking about more and more. And uh, I think we were all born to dance together. Ashe. <laughs> yes.